<laughs> hello, family. Hello, hello, hello. I would have um, hit you all up earlier, but I had a meeting with my sis, um, and I enjoyed you so much, sis. Thank you so much for your help. I'm telling you, listen, guys, one time, I'll never forget, me and someone else was talking, and they were saying that, um, like, the person said, oh, I don't need nobody. Listen, in this life, you will find you're going to need somebody. You're going to need somebody at the end of the day. And, you know, I just appreciate my sis. You know, she know who she is. And all my other sisters, too, so willing to help. And, you know, I just I appreciate it. Since you know who you are, I, I wasn't sure if you wanted me to put your name out there. But thank you so much for your help this morning. Oh, man. Amazing. So that's what it's about, guys, helping each other. But this video is not about that. Um, I just wanted to talk to you all, guys, about, oh, my gosh, yesterday. I did write, um, I did write you all, like, probably a long message. I'm not sure if everyone um, paid attention to the community tab yesterday, but I did see about four people. But I just thought I'd do a video. Um, listen. Oh, man, yesterday was amazing, guys. Um, I was supposed to see my dad, but um, things just took a detour. And usually I'm a stickler for like sticking to the schedule and sticking to the plan. And as I've said before in other videos, I keep looking because I'm looking for my husband. Um, other videos that plans are meant to be broken. Yes, facts. <laughs> so yesterday plan was broken. I was supposed to see my dad and then I was supposed to see my auntie. Well, I didn't see my dad. I ended up just going to see my auntie and oh my gosh, when I tell y'all, oh my goodness, it was amazing. Amazing. Um, I didn't want to pull the, the, the camera out because it was really a moment, um, that just didn't need the camera, you know, at the time I, I just needed to be in it. Um, and man, it was wonderful. My auntie is 80 years old. Don't look 80 at all. I may share a, a picture of her, um, on the community tab, but I said to her, I pray I age like her. <laughs> um, but like the conversation we had in mind, you guys, I haven't seen my auntie in some years, which is not good. So we both said that um, we can't let years go by. We just can't. Um, the conversations we had, guys, the the reminiscing we had, um, she was talking about and telling me like, you know, back in her times, how things were, how they used to cook with Laurie, Laurie if I'm saying it right, Laurie, um, you know, I think that was like, it was like grease or something like that. Um, and how they used to make the chicken eat and, and, you know, she's going to teach me a couple of things y'all. Cause it's something that your girl can't, I don't know how to do. <laughs> I don't know if I want to reveal it yet, but, um, she's going to teach me. My auntie says she's going to teach me, but like, just, you know, some of the things they ate, I don't eat, but some of the things they ate and just, different and how my auntie was saying how the food now is different the things that they cooked with back in the day they live yeah they had high blood pressure and diabetes and all of that but it not saying it wasn't killing people but it wasn't killing people like times are now and it's killing young people you know and that alone should let you know how this food how the food really is from back then to now and I'm telling you, like, even our elders are living longer than the youth, which is really sad, you know, but it's the times we in, it's the food and things like that that we're eating. I mean, oh man, we, we, we talked about that, y'all, we talked about, um, you know, like the conversations a little bit, she was, you know, sharing with me the little conversations of, um, what they didn't talk about, you know, growing up. And it's just, it's just amazing. Um, I didn't think at this time and age, this day and age that I'll be sitting down talking to my auntie who's in the, you know, who's 80. And her, I think her husband about around the same 
age, I think little old me would be the one talking about Africa to them and telling them, you know, the different things that I've learned and um, the interviews that I have with you all, you know, with Dr. Assad and his wife, um, Adrian, and um, with changing the narrative and reclaiming my identity. Like, I'm sharing this information with my auntie. I'm sharing, I'm sitting there sharing this information with her. And I'm telling her that we have that, you know, we, we have invested in Africa and I'm, it's just, it didn't really dawn on me to like me being in that moment with her that I'm like, this really happening? Like you would think it'd be flip flop the other way around, but I'm like, wow. And then to think what knocked me off my feet is that her husband was like, I'm ready to go. And my auntie, I said, and I asked her twice, y'all. I said, auntie, you, you want to go to Africa? You will it be willing to go to Africa? And she was like, yes. Her husband was like, yes. I was shocked, y'all. I was shocked because sometimes some of the, the elderly that I run into, they be like, no, no, I'm, I'm staying here because they're stuck in their ways. A lot of them are stuck in their ways. And then, you know, because, you know, a lot of them have never been on a plane, so they're afraid to get on the plane. Uh, a lot of them, like I said, that brainwash is real. That brainwash is real. You know, I, I even, even asked me, hey, what about how the animals are like? And my husband, you know, just kind of talked to him and told him, like, no, that's not, that's what they want you to think. So, like, but just the fact that they're open to go. So we're going to try to see, guys, because they don't have their passports. Um, my auntie says she's going to do a meeting with us, a family meeting. So she get it together. I come, We'll come on, go through, and we'll share with the details. I'll give them, you know, the information on my channel and other people's channel and stuff. And we'll sit down and talk about it. And, hey, maybe this could be a big movement. I can get my family we could maybe uh, possibly all go 2024. Whoever don't have a passport, they work on it this year so that they can have it next year for us to go. So I'm hopeful. I really hope that and pray that, you know, my family, a majority of them, all of them will be all in, you know, but I'm also keeping in the back of my mind that it may be a few that won't. Because I already had one of my cousins I mentioned to him, why don't you do your DNA? Like, and she was like, no, she don't want to know. So it is what it is, you know, but um, the ones I can possibly reach and, and tell about Africa and then it'll be even better when I go and they see me, hopefully, you know, um, that will convince them to, hey, let's at least go visit, you know, but I just wanted to share that with y'all and like, I'm gotten some of the information hubby's here now i've gotten some of the information from her so i'll be digging and tapping into that because i don't know about anybody else but i'm very curious and very eager to know my history my background my family so i could finish my family tree on accessory as well and then i'll be doing the african accessory one um like Red's grade eight, um, just did his. He just he just got his results. So if y'all didn't go over, um, check out Red's grade eight video so you can see where his results came up. And um, yeah, let's support one another. You know, through this whole journey, um, you may have to be the one to stand and be that voice for your family, whether you want to or not. You probably was the one to be chosen. So just keep that in mind guys and um i say do it do it because you want to look at the bigger picture the overall big picture of it all right guys hey don't forget to hit that like button guys before you leave now and share 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 guys we want to keep the algorithm going and we want as much people as possible to know their truth 
All right, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace, family.